Hey guys and welcome back this is Sam and in today's tutorial I'm going to discuss Bamboo HR part 2 so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add or remove one of your employees from the organization so I'm going to people if you want to add a new employee you can just click on new employee on the top left then you will have to insert some basic information like the employee first and last name the employee number the birth date and more you can add some of this information and you can leave some of them the vital information that you have to insert is just the first and last name so if you wanna leave the other blank you can do this but the more information you insert the more accurate you get a view from your or organization and people so now I'm going to skip filling all this information and now we can remove one of our employees so we have two possible options to do so you can uh, remove an employee uh, by deleting the employee or by ending or terminating him and there is a huge difference between both and I will show you the difference right now so let's choose Charlotte for example and Ashley and apply these changes so by going to Ashley for example uh, for Charlotte for example I can go to the settings on the top right then I can choose either to end employment or to delete the employee I'm going to choose end employment for Charlotte then I'm going to insert a past date so let's insert a date from the past choose the type as termination the reason uh, end of season for example uh, rehiring yes she can be rehired then I'm going to insert to click on end employment and now you will see that Ashley is now inactive however all her data is still existing now let's return back to um, people then I'm going to choose another one and now you will see that Ashley is no lo that Charlotte is no longer existing in my employees now I am going to Ashley then I'm going to settings again and I'm going to choose delete employee now it will ask me to write the word delete so as to make sure that I'm not deleting Ashley by mistake so I'm going to delete and you can see that this can cannot be undone so by clicking on delete this employee Ashley will disappear she will no longer exist in my company so if I went to all employees drop down menu and I choose terminated people I will find Charlotte but I will not find Ashley because Ashley has been completely deleted from the organization however Charlotte still exists but she is inactive so I can go to Charlotte again and I can click on setting once more then I can choose rehire employee and I can choose another date let's choose um, okay let's choose this date for example and I can change her employment sta status so I can make her like part-time now instead of being full-time job I can assign her to a new job title and more and by clicking on save you will find that Ashley has become active again with all her data reserved and existing I cannot do the same with Ashley uh, because she no longer exists so basically if you wanna delete an employee you will have two options whether to end employment so that this employee will be inactive and you can rehire him anytime with all his data saved or you can just delete this employee and he will he or she will no longer be existing in your organization you can't rehire you can't restore what you have deleted so this is pretty much it for this tutorial today I hope you find this content helpful so if you want to find more business hacks and tips and business content make sure to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials until then take care and goodbye